Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Leadnap Gaming. Today we're talking all about upgrades. When I say upgrades, I mean how to do a cross chassis upgrade, how to use an LTI token, and how to use the cool new customization feature with the 300 series that's just been introduced. If you're just here to look for the ship upgrade fe or sorry, ship customization feature, check out the description down below. There's a link that'll get you to just that part of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're going to do a cross chassis upgrade, all you need to do is go to Pledge Store, come over here to Ship Upgrades. From here, we're going to choose our upgrade. Now, understand that an upgrade is in itself like a ship when you look in your hangar. So from that, right, I can uncheck my ships and I can choose an Aurora LX. I don't have one, but I'll get an upgrade from an LX to whatever it is I want to upgrade to. I can send that, gift that, whatever I want, but we'll assume you're actually trying to upgrade something you have, so let's go ahead and go with my ships. And then it's important in here you pick something that you actually have. So like in this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick a Ranger RC because I know I have one that has LTI and that I'm going to use as an LTI token. Next, we're going to choose our ship. And here I'm just going to go ahead. You can see I can't go any cheaper. But I'm just going to come down here and find myself a 315P, which is what I want to get. Yes, that's the old version in the photo. And you'll see it's going to cost me $30 to upgrade. So we're just going to click buy now. And then from here, you're just going to check out. So after you've paid for it, all you need to do is go to your hangar, which if you don't know how to get there, it's up here in account. And then it'll bring you to this screen and you just go to my hangar. From here, you can see the ship upgrades. Now, like I said before, you purchase ship upgrades not connected to the actual ship you're upgrading. So, for example, here's that RC and uh, Ranger CV and Ranger RC that we were, are going to upgrade. But you can see that the upgrades here are separate. Now, I actually have a Aquila to Merchantman CCU upgrade, and I don't own an Aquila right now. I got rid of it, and I need to buy another one to use that upgrade but that's how these upgrades work and i can actually just send someone this upgrade so you don't have to have the ship to upgrade it but it's important to know that i have lti on these in order to upgrade them and keep the lti so this is the part where we're going to use an lti token so let's go ahead and just do our 315p upgrade here so from here uh, what we're going to do is say apply upgrade and now from here, I need to choose which package it's going to come out of. So I'm going to go ahead and do standalone ship, right? And I'm going to click next. Now it's very important that you understand this is very final. Uh, so it's going to have you type your password in here to make sure that you really want to do this. So once you put your password in and you hit apply, you'll see it says it's applied and it's going to refresh the screen. And now, you see here I have a standalone ship, Tumbrel Ranger CV Warbond, but it's upgraded and it contains a 315P. But when I open it, right, this package, which included lifetime insurance, now has lifetime insurance on my 315P. So that's all you have to do to use an LTI token. It's that easy. So let's go ahead now and actually talk about how to customize. To upgrade, all you need to do is be in your hangar, just like where we are right now, and just click this Customize button. That's going to bring an applet up. Uh, this is brand new. CAG just introduced this, and it's pretty cool. I'm going to give you a quick run through here of just kind of the screen. Uh, it is important to note you do have these little arrows here that allows you to change the image. That's important just because as you make some decisions later on, the, the image doesn't always move to the right one or some views actually give you better views of some of these things so just know that you can change them there up here we've got our decisions to make and what our total cost is going to be now right now the ship is configured exactly as it comes from the factory when you normally buy it so this is the paint scheme it normally comes in so on and so forth you always have an option for standard choices which there's usually a couple for example you can go red or yellow and those are going to cost you no money it's included Next are premium options like this blue and this orange. Those are pretty cool, right? They're a dollar to give you something that's probably a little more unique because you guessed it, some people are not going to pay for it. 
Uh, after that, there's also these metallic options. Now, these metallic options, like I really like this one, is pretty sharp, right? Uh, they're a little kind of more two-tone-ish, and those are $2. But I'm actually sticking up here with the celebration colors. This one looks incredible, and I'm almost tempted to do it, but I'm going with a red and black theme here today. So red and black it is. There's also this cool black and blue one. So from here, next up, we're going to go to the cockpit. Now, when you click one of these, it should default you to this view. If not, you can change it. The 315 piece starts with this aluminum. The 300 starts with this wood grain. Uh, again, I'm going with the black and red, so I'm just going to pick the red here. But if you wanted carbon fiber, for example, that's a dollar. If you want this yellow carbon fiber or just the straight yellow or the blue, those are going to cost you a dollar. I'm sticking with the red because I'm going with a red and black theme like the exterior of my ship. Next up is yoke. Uh, when I click this, notice the yoke changes, but again, there's a better view. And for a dollar, the yokes just aren't different enough for me that I'm going to stick with that. So next up, seats. Uh, you can click sport. You see again, it didn't really change it. I think this is the best way to look at the seats. Uh, the 350 comes with this one all the other 300 series come with this one for what i'm using my 315 for the generic seat's going to be just fine next up is your seat material right uh, there's a brown and black leather option there is a white leather option this white looks really sharp with some of those other schemes the other way to look at your seat is like this this is the one you're supposed to be looking at for this i'm sticking with the black just because i think it looks sharp Next up is finish. Now again, you'll notice as I change this, it changes the origin text right here. But the better way to look is here, because this is what's changing this accent. So there's the silver. Notice you get red text with the silver. There's your carbon fiber. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the red here, just because I'm going red and black. But if I wanted to just keep that, I mean, you could stick with the silver, right? You can kind of see I'm doing a really generic kind of paint scheme here, but you have a lot of options to really kind of do some cool stuff. Next up, let's go to bedding. So this is actually what the 315 comes generically stock in, and you can change that to the dark gray if you want for nothing, or they offer these cool uh, branded versions. I don't like branding unless it's my brand, so I'm just going to go up here and stick with the dark gray. So you can see right now, right, we just made all of these cosmetic choices and it doesn't cost us any money. Uh, next up though is the packages. And this is really kind of the meat and potatoes of this to some people and not others. I look at customization more as a make my ship look different from everyone else's. Uh, but there is something to be said in this packages portion. Now the packages do run kind of chronologically down with this top classic option being the uh, factory generic version and as you go down they get more expensive and they get more uh, kind of better components so this 315 PGT option right gives you the best weapons best components and everything like that but what's worthy of understanding is don't jump straight down here these are really more character elements of the ship and what I mean by that is, is it's more apparent in the 325, right? Uh, one of these options is a close quarters brawler. One of them is a long distance shooter. Uh, these are different characters. And I actually am going to be going with this XC, which is only $6, which is pretty cool. But the real reason is notice this, right? Stealth grade components. So this ship's now, this version is going to be harder to detect. Now, another thing I just want to kind of caution you with, with choosing one of these packages there's two parts to this first right i can replace any of these components in game so one part of this to think about is can i use these components on a different ship absolutely as long as they match uh, so one it's a nice way to get those from the insurance system but the other part of that is um, really the components are the bigger thing to look at here not so much the weapons especially in a 300 series this is not a lot of weapons to spend you know six dollars compared to zero dollars but these stealth components this ship for me it's an lti ship uh after resets i want to make sure it has these capabilities so that's why i'm going to go ahead and put this six dollars in to go ahead and pick this up the other really important thing to know right now 
Once you customize a ship, you cannot re-customize it. Now, CIG has said in the future you will be able to re-customize it. Should we believe them? Yes, and here's why. Well, because if I decide later on that uh, I, I stuck with Classic and I decide later on, you know, really kind of wish I would have put one of these in. Hey, it's an opportunity for CIG to make six bucks. And anytime CIG can make money, they're probably going to put that feature in the game sooner rather than later and almost certainly put it in, right? So just know right now when you make these decisions, you're kind of stuck with them for life. Uh, you can melt them if it's an LTI token and you melt it, right? But now you can't warbond. It gets really messy. So just make these decisions now that you really want to stick with. Think of it really how you plan to use the ship and go with your decision from there. Last but not least are these decorations. So uh, for $2, I can put a coffee maker in. Another, you know, $2. There's a food maker and a sound system, right? But these three options for things that do absolutely nothing in the game cost more than the upgraded components I just put on the ship. So, you know, really think about if you need them. Now, for me, I'm a huge coffee drinker in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and give them $2 for the pixels for the coffee maker just because I'm crazy like that. But, uh, you know, I would, do you really need an alarm clock on something you don't sleep on? You know, they, you see what I mean? Or like this picture frame. You can't put a picture in it right now. Do you really want some triangles? Because that's all that really is, you know, for $2. I'll give them $2 for a coffee maker because why not? But like I said, things to think about. In the future, when you need to eat, will this $2 have been worth it? Yeah, probably. Um, hopefully by then we can recustomize. So there you go. There it is. Next up, all we're going to do is click confirm. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us a summary of everything we're customizing. I strongly recommend you go through here. Is this the paint scheme I want? Hell yeah. Right? Um, is the interior correct? Did I screw up and put blue accent in here and red everywhere else? That's red, seats black, red, yep, proper yoke. Nice. Great. Everything looks good. From here, I'm going to click Add to Cart. It's going to leave the applet and put us back in just the regular checkout. And from here, you'll check out. So that's customization. Let me know down below, guys. You like it, you not like it. Are there things you really hope they add to customization? Let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.